Hey everyone, welcome to IT Twist. My name is Gaurav. We have learned a lot about functions in this hands-on Python training course. In today's video, we will learn about one more great topic of Python that is a decorator. In this video, we will cover in depth about decorators and I am pretty sure after watching this video till the end, you will be highly comfortable using decorators in Python. I personally love to use decorators as it is highly used for writing a cleaner and flexible code. Also, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button below in order to get information about latest technology and programming tutorials. Let's get started. A decorator is a design pattern in Python that allows a user to add a new functionality to an existing function or classes without modifying its underlying architecture. Let's see decorators in action now. Consider an example of simple user account registration and login. So I'm creating a login function. Def of login, this will accept two parameters. One is the username and one is password. So if our username is equal to say Sam and password is equal to one, two, three, four, five then we will just print say success and otherwise we will print failure we will quickly check this particular function so when i will run login of say raj and password as one two three so when i will run this python decorator.py you will see failure and when I will run sysam and password as 12345 and when I will run this python decorator.py you will see success. Now consider a use case we have a requirement to throw an error if username or password is empty. Let's create a decorator to handle this scenario. So we will create one function so let's say check empty and this will accept one function inside our this function we will create one inner function which is def inner function this is the one of the best benefits of python you can create a function inside a function so this inner function will accept the same number of parameters that we have defined in our login method so this will take these two arguments here and inside this we will have a logic to check the emptiness so if username is equal to equal to say empty or password is equal to equal to empty we will just print out username or password cannot be empty and we will simply return if this particular statement doesn't came out to be true then we will execute this particular method so we will execute this function as later on we will call this particular function and we will pass this particular function inside its argument so we will call this function and this function when we will call it will accept these two arguments only so we will pass over here and then we will simply return this in our function i know it will sound little bit strange for the very first time but when you will start practicing this particular code it is really flexible and really clean so in order to call this we will simply say check empty and inside this we will pass a login method over here and we will just name it decorated function now in place of this login we will call this decorated function so when we will call this python decorator.py you will still get success because we are passing sam and one two three four five and if I pass Sam and 1234, when I will execute decorator of py, you will get failure. 
and when I will pass any of the arguments as empty, you will see username or password cannot be empty. Now let's understand what is happening behind the scenes. We are calling this check empty function with login as an argument. So this fn is equivalent to a login and this particular execution is equivalent to a login with the same number of parameters username and password. So this particular line of code is equivalent to this particular line. Now let's go inside this function definition that we have created. We are returning this inner function which will take the same number of arguments that we have specified inside a login. So this means if we call this particular check empty with login as an argument, this decorated function is equivalent to our inner function. When we are calling this particular inner function, we are just adding this particular line of code before calling our original function. So in this way, we have added a new functionality without modifying our original function. This is the magic of decorators. In Python, we have a special syntax for decorators. So these two line of code is not needed anymore. So I'm just getting rid of this line and decorated function is not needed. We are just calling our login function and we just need to add and add the rate symbol and we need to just write check empty. So which will be equivalent to that particular line of code that I showed you earlier. So when I will run this python decorator.py, you will still see the same result. But this time our code is really clean. Now consider we have one another function of register. So we have register and we have parameters, the username and password. As of now, we are just returning success only. So when I will call this particular method, say register of say abc and 1 2 3 4 let's replace it with the print statement and let's run this code python decorator.py you will see success so here as well i need to have this particular empty check so my username or password cannot be empty so i will just add this at the rate and check empty so when i will call this particular method so this fn will be equivalent to register and before executing our register method, it will check for the emptiness of username and password. So when I will make this particular password as empty, when I will run python decorator.py, you will see username or password cannot be empty. So this is so much clean syntax that we have achieved. So we can write this particular decorators in a separate kind of modules and we can reuse them. So each and everything will be really clean and flexible. So we will come back to modules in the later set of this video series. So as of now, this is enough for this decorators. So I'm sure you will be pretty confident right now. If not, please revisit this video again. And I'm sure you will definitely understand the concept behind decorators. So that's it for the decorators. If you have any queries or suggestions, please feel free to comment. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.